Hi, welcome to Easy Engineering. Today we're going to talk about a relatively simple device, a reversible drum pump. A drum pump that can actually fill and empty a drum, utilizing compressed air. How you mount one of these things is basically on the drum in a small hole. You have on the large hole, you put a standpipe with a slot in it that allows for the liquid to go up through that standpipe out or in to the drum through the standpipe. How it works is this, when you have the compressor going in under pressure, you pressurize that drum to be able to push the liquid down and out of the drum. You can turn the knob, because it is adjustable, and instead of making pressure to enter the drum, you create a vacuum to draw liquid into the drum. Very simple device, but there are some key factors you should keep in mind in utilizing a device like this. First of all, is you don't want to overfill the drum. So for that, you use the float. You can hear the float moving up and down the uh, tube in the drum pump that I have in my hand. That uh, float should be relatively free to move, should not get stuck, so it has to be properly machined. If you're dealing with a sticky liquid, you're going to want to clean this unit every once in a while so that uh, float does not get stuck. This way you will not overfill the drum. The way it works is as the liquid goes up, it lifts the float up, it'll put it up into that pocket, cutting off the airflow, thereby preventing it from being overfilled. When you have the drum pump under pressure to empty the liquid, you want to be able to maximize that pressure that you're putting in the drum. You do not want to have it too high. If the pressure is too high, you're going to bulge the material, and you can actually break that drum, or at least permanently damage it. That can be dangerous. So the way you do that, you have some sort of a spring on the inside that's set so that as that pressure builds up, that spring is going to react and again cut off the airflow into the drum so you do not overpressurize it. Very simple, but you have to make sure it's a properly sized spring. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. The other thing you should consider in utilizing a drum pump is the material. Is the material plastic? Is it liquid? Are you handling corrosive materials? If it's corrosive, you're probably going to want to use stainless steel. You're going to want to make sure the materials in there cannot be affected by the liquid you're handling. Little things like that. Construction of the material, uh, construction of the pump. But basically, overall, with their proper safeties in them, they're relatively safe devices to use, and certainly very convenient because they don't use electricity, they can be carted around a factory floor without having to worry about uh, electric motors wearing out and getting all wet and, and basically breaking. They're very, very hardy devices. So they do make uh, an excellent option uh, for utilizing as, uh, as drum pops compared to electrical units.